Welcome everybody. You remember from the last time we talked about the seven layers of the anterior abdominal wall. The first layer was the skin and the second layer was the superficial fascia. And we talked about briefly about superficial fascia and we said that it's composed from two layers superficial um, fatty layer and another one deeper layer which is a membranous layer the fatty layer if you can look here so this is the fatty layer of superficial fascia indeed this layer is continuous over all most all of your body up and down above your thigh and so forth so it, it continues up and down and almost above your body now the second layer which is um, for what we call it scarpus fascia scarpus fascia indeed uh, it's a membrane was layer of superficial fascia and it fades out up and laterally that means it will disappear superiorly and laterally but scarps fascia will fuse with the deep fascia of the thigh this is the deep fascia of the thigh this is the line of fusion fusion of what the fusion of scarves fascia and the fascia of the thigh where is that how can we determine this point okay it's easy if you go to the uh, anterior superior iliac spine and symphysis pubis you will find this ligament you are familiar with this ligament this is inguinal ligament this is inguinal ligament so one finger this distance in between is about a finger breadth below the inguinal ligament so one finger breadth below the inguinal ligament you will find the infusion um, or the line of infusion uh, between the scarpus fascia and deep fascia of the thigh what the clinical significance of that we'll talk about it okay now this is a cross section uh, taken from the male and you can see again the fatty layer of course you know the fatty layer is called um, cambarous fascia and the uh, membranous layer is called scarbus fascia anyway look at it the fatty layer will disappear over the penis right and over the scrotum the fatty layer will be replaced by a thin layer of muscle that's called dartos muscle it's called what dartos muscle and on the other hand scarbus fascia this uh, layer blue color layer will continue as a one layer uh, over the penis look the membranous layer is not fusing with the pubis this is the bone you know so it makes a kind of tubular canal and it continues as a one layer across the scrotum all the way to the back and if used 
with the renal body and renal membrane posteriorly. So this membraneous layer attached to the edge of pubic arch and at this side it calls collis fascia. It's the same, it is carpus fascia, but at this side it's called collis fascia. So what's the clinical significance of that? You know this is the this is the penile urethra. If there is a rupture in the penile urethra or in the urethra here, the urine will move up to the inferior part of the abdominal cavity. So you will find urine there. And you will find urine in the scrotum and back toward the perineal area. Why? Because we mentioned that the scarves fascia, the membraneous layer of superficial fascia, is not fusing or is not attached to the pubic bone, making a kind of a a canal or a tunnel so there is a gap there is a tunnel so the urine will extravasate up to the inferior part of the abdominal cavity and also the scarps fascia is not fused like that okay it's attached to the both sides or both edges of the um, pubic arch and what's called collis fascia was not fused because it's continuous as a one layer through the scrotum back to the perineal body and membrane also that means the urine can extravasate to the back toward the perineum so if there is a rupture in the penile urethra you have to expect to find the urine in the lower part of anterior abdominal wall and in the scrotum and back in the perineal area but what about the thigh do you think you will you will see or you will find sorry a urine in the thigh the answer is no why because we mentioned also at the beginning of this video that the scarps fascia fuses with the deep fascia of the thigh at one finger breadth below the inguinal ligament this is the inguinal again this is the inguinal ligament and this is about say this distance is one finger breadth below it below the inguinal ligament so this is the line of fusion fusion of what fusion of scars fascia and deep fascia of the thigh so the deep fascia, the scarps fascia fuses with the with the deep fascia of the thigh here, so the urine cannot pass there. No, it cannot. So where can I find the urine? Okay, you will find it in the lower part of the sorry, lower part of the abdominal wall here, in the scrotum, in the penis, and back in the perineal area. This is known as extravasation of urine.